Welcome to another Finish or Fail! This one's about Mob Psycho 100 Season 2, and uh, we're going to talk about it, but first, let's have a debate. Alright. Should Finish or Fail go on to the main channel? No, I think it's After Dark content through and through. What is your logic? Because the After Dark following are people who want to know your opinions on literally everything that's going on and who are eagerly awaiting your opinions on currently airing and currently finished shows. Alright, here's my counter argument. So, there are people who are on YouTube frequently and want to see frequently updated content. I'm not talking about massively changing this and putting it on the main channel. I'm talking about just putting it on the main channel. I think it's After Dark content. I think that it lives and breathes After Dark content. Alright, so how would you define Digibro content as opposed Digibro to Digibro content is content that is thought through. Content that has some degree of editing, some degree of research attached to it. Whereas After Dark content is more loose form, it's more casual. Now here's the next I would question. not feel comfortable being on a Digibro video. Here's the thing. In my mind, the Digibro channel is completely dead. No, I know, and you have a great opportunity to kind of shape it into whatever you want, but I would and advise you from not putting finish or fail on it just because it has been successful in After Dark. Well, it hasn't been that successful. It's been as successful as the series. It's, on it After hasn't Dark been can successful be. as it would be if it was on the main channel. Inherently, are you the as view proud count would of triple. This show as you are more proud. You're more as of things that maybe you do with like best guy ever, like where you talk more about, proud. No, than Shield Hero Weekly. No. More proud. Like the main channel. So first of all, the main channel is basically dead. Um, I There's nothing I can do that will wholesale revive it because the only way the main channel will ever be like consistently getting great views is if I consistently talk about rele relevant topics. That's the only way. Nobody cares about the level of effort put into the videos. Nobody cares about what, what they're about. I mean, like... The, the best video I've made recently is the Otaku Gonzo Journal, episode one. It, had, it got 30,000 views. Finish or fail Mob Psycho 100 season two would get more than that. Regardless of if it had any editing put into it at all. If it was on the main channel, it would get more, edit, it would get more views than that video. Yeah. Because all anybody cares about is subject matter. And the amount of editing it would take for me to make this... I mean, first of all, just the fact that we are shooting it on yeah, a better set... Yeah, it Shield Hero Weekly... Or not Shield Hero Weekly, Mob fucking Psycho Weekly instead of Shield Hero. It would have been better for views. The only reason we did Shield Hero is that, well, A, I didn't expect the show to suck, because I liked the first episode, and I liked the manga, so I thought the show would be good. Here's Dishy Bro expecting an anime not to suck. I know. What was, <laughs> what was I thinking? Like... First of all, I thought it would be You've good. I knew that Nate had already read the whole manga, so I knew yeah. he had a lot of perspective. Yeah, on I it. have no problems. I like. Shows and I wanted to talk really about it with Mr. Border, like Mr. Former MRA fucking Big Tao guy, because yeah. obviously he's the right guy to watch the definitely, show. Definitely, definitely. But uh, I just don't. I, I don't know. I would hesitate on putting this particular. You see, the thing is, is on the main channel that up until this point, finish or fail is, like, badly lit footage of the two of us in front of a couch having a meandering discussion After just with no editing. usually staying up for hours binging or half binging a show. Right. Now, proposition. What if Finish or Fail was always in front of a colorful backdrop with good lighting with the two of us? That just means why people would click on it regardless. Do you think so? I because, think so. Because there's just way fewer... Isn't your okay. After Dark channel growing? No. It's, it's not. constantly losing subs every month because I post the rant hole videos. Do every time I do that, it loses 2,000 subs. Do you for the subs. rant hole? No. Because the rant hole makes too much money for that. If I put the rant hole on another channel, nobody will watch it. Nobody will watch the videos at all. Yeah. It will just be for the people paying for it. 
But if you keep losing people every month, eventually they all come back. Will be though watching. they all every month I lose and then I gain them all back over the course of the month and then I lose them all again. But the problem is that the reason that I don't grow exponentially on After Dark is that individually none of these videos gains me a lot of subscribers. It's just a slow build up of people who sub after a video and then unsub when they get flooded. But, like, most yeah. of this is just hardcore fans who are all subscribed to the main channel as well. So, like, Definitely. if the main channel is not really reaching outside of a core sect of fans, then why not just put the stuff that reaches the core sect of fans on the main channel? I agree, but I don't think Finish or Fail reaches the main sect of fans. Maybe particular episodes where we talk about a popular show, but most of the time we're just cruising through shitty shows. What I, if it was, I really okay, think that you should was focus... Both, what if it was both on both channels where all of the shows that aren't popular got released on After Dark and any no. show that's popular enough, no, we I just really, put a little I bit really more production into and put it on the main like channel? a great show to kind of keep people coming to After Dark. That if this is on After Dark, people are going to sub to it but because they want... This isn't even fail. what gets the most views on After Dark. No, I know. I just think that it's a substantial amount... Like, it'll grab people regardless. Even if it's not the biggest, I, I just think like, that just something that can be easily this, put... Literally, this video, Finish or Fail, Mob Psycho 2, would get three times as many views on the main channel as it'll get on After Dark. No, no debate. It would get that many. Would it scare away some of my subs on the main channel? Potentially. Yes, it would. They don't want to see me. You don't know that. I know that. What if they'd rather see you? No, they wouldn't. I know that for a fact. What if I, I posted that, this dog. video on both channels as an experiment? <laughs> See which one gets more views. Yeah. Obviously, the VitchyBird channel has more subs. So it'll get more views. Obviously, but you're going to lose those subs. Why would I lose subs? I feel like you'll lose subs on DigiBro. I'm already losing subs on DigiBro. Yeah. Every time a Let's Argue comes then out, I lose subs on DigiBro. Then fucking put out a good video. If I put out a good video... This is not a good video! I mean, when I say good video, I mean a high-effort video. People don't care about high-effort videos. Yeah, exactly. My high-effort videos get no views. I'm not... I don't want to say high-effort, but you know what I mean. An edited video. Edited videos don't get as many views. This video should not go on Digital. <laughs> what if it went on both channels? Okay, commenters... Comment either if you want this to go on Digibro After Dark or corrupting your kids. I just know This that, should not go on Digibro. <laughs> I just know that the Digibro channel, at this point, the only, the only factor that contributes to videos getting views is if I talk about a popular subject. Yep, talk about Crunchyroll some more. You don't need... Or Mob Psycho 2! Make a video about Mob I Psycho did. 2! I can make two videos yeah, about it! Yeah, put that on the main channel! Why don't they both go on the main oh, channel? This is After Dark content. The main channel The shades have... are on! Alright, the biggest thing hurting the main channel is that not enough videos come out on it. What if I had more videos coming out on it? Wouldn't it become the After Dark channel? It would become a better version of the After Dark channel. I don't know. I think that if you're going to put finish or fail on, it needs serious restructure. And by that, I mean there's no way to put finish or I fail just, okay, on Digibro. Look, you tried to only, do it and it failed. All right, let's say that finish or fail improved. Well, that's because it put way too much editing into it. It didn't fail. It got, it got 100,000 views at this point, but it had too much effort put in for the amount of reward. You know? But, like, if let's say... This video, this video comes out on After Dark, right? And you could say that if we raise the production value, maybe the After Dark channel would grow. Well, if the After Dark channel starts growing, then we're going to come to a point where we have to take the rants off of it because the rants won't survive on the, like, they, they will always drag down the channel if the channel's growing. Well, if we take the rants off of it, we're losing all the money that we get from the ad revenue on the rants, all the attention that the rants get, because they're going to be completely ghosted. Nobody's going to subscribe to the rant channel except for a few passionate people. So, right away, the After Dark channel has to be taken more seriously. Well, if the After Dark channel is taken more seriously, it's taking time away from working on the main channel. So at that point, it is the main channel. So, why not just take this content and put it on the main channel and treat the main channel as a channel that doesn't require you to put a ton of effort into anything since no one gives a shit. 
Since literally no one cares if more effort is put I in. I get what you're saying. I truly get what you're saying, but you will have to expect a mass exodus of viewers on the main That's channel. That's fine, I don't give a shit. They're, they're, nobody's watching the main channel. You could just make more videos that are worthy of the main channel. Like what? Name one. What can I make that's gonna bring attention back to the main channel? Your SAO Weekly videos. Nobody watched those! They did, you have a hundred. No, those got shitty view counts! You made them once a week and they got more views than the stuff you No, they did currently. not. What are yeah. you talking about? They I only got like 50,000 views. I looked at your time. channel. That's a lot for your channel. No, it's not. It's a lot for Let's your channel. Let's argue had 75,000 views just a week ago. I don't know, man. And then 60,000 the week after that. It way it and let's argue it better on than the SAO title Weekly. And thumbnail. That's always all that matters. So why does it matter what efforts put into the video if all that matters is the title and thumbnail? It okay. The type of content matters more than the quality of the content, but quality of the content still matters. To whom? And this specific Where's the proof? Show me the proof. It matters in the people that are subscribing to the After Dark channel versus the main channel. When you have more broadly appealing content. But I don't content, gain. I don't gain. This is not broadly appealing content. You have to be a deep lore Digi fan. Talking to about Mob Psycho 2 is it okay, broadly appealing content. Talking about content? Mob Psycho 2 versus what the show is is Digi and his fiance, who nobody gives a fuck about, talking about. Their you, opinions you, you on currently airing anime. Okay. That's not massively If, if anybody appealing. cares enough about me to care about just my opinions, they'd be on After Dark. If they're watching Digibro, it's not because they care about me. They just want to hear someone talk about anime. They don't give a fuck that it's me and you. They just want to hear somebody talk about Mob Psycho because they care about Mob Psycho. They care about Mob Psycho. They don't care about me and you and our opinions on seasonal anime, which is what. Then the why show would they is. watch any of the videos I do? They're bored. They want to watch the, it. Exactly. So wouldn't it survive they, just as well? If they're bored and they want to watch it, they'd watch it on After Dark. Why would they not watch Did it on you the main bro, channel? It's just it's. You have to understand that the conceit of the of this channel split was back in a time when it really mattered. Yeah. When people, I understand the when times if you are changing. if you posted vlogs, people would unsubscribe because you posted a vlog back in the day. Yeah. I created this channel split in 2013. 2013, and it wasn't even about different types of content originally. It was because on the After Dark channel, I talked about weird, fucked up parts of the Brony fandom that I didn't want my mainstream audience to know I cared about. Because if I made a video about Pony Hypnosis Project on my main channel, I was scared I would lose too many of my 13 year old followers. So like, the original conceit was that, and then I started posting podcasts and stuff on the After Dark channel, because I didn't think they'd survive on the main channel, but now I have Ghibli cast on the main channel, nobody complains about it, people are begging for me to bring it back, it's just a podcast. What difference does it make if it's a video versus a podcast where we're just st sitting against a cool backdrop, people want to watch our mannerisms, they want to hear someone talk about Mob Psycho. How is this different from We Agawa? Where, where Nate's in front of fucking I'm, six black squares of I'm fucking... I'm not comparing this to other YouTube channels. I'm simply saying that there already exists a dichotomy between After Dark and the Digibro. And yes, you are correct by saying that both channels are kind of losing their validity as being separate entities. Yes. And as time goes on, it's going to become more and more like that. But where does finish or fail really fit into the spectrum of, like, main channel versus side channel content? Because, conceivably, when we record these, it's just we watch a ton of anime and then create a video based on watching it. Yeah, which is what all my videos are. I guess you can admit that if you want. That's always how it's been. I've never been secretive about that. I write my videos pretty much right after finishing a show. Yeah, I mean... I mean, I wrote the Mob Psycho video before we started recording and finished a fail about it. There are reasons that this might succeed on the main channel. The fact that more people are, are looking and may see, oh shit, I care about this show. But the fact of the matter is that most of the shows that we talk about on Finish or Fail now That's what that I'm saying we're it could be on both. Seasonal impressions, seasonal impressions can be on After Dark. Okay, what do you think and about the Finish or Fail can be on the main channel? That might be more conceivable. Yeah. But like as I So now I'm, you're saying Finish or Fail can be on the main channel. Finish or Fail might now that I'm thinking about seasonal impressions existence, because we're kind of yeah. weeding out the shows that people don't care about. 
Right. If we're just Season talking 1 Impressions about... is different. I mean, Season 1 Impressions would only work on the main channel if it was like the Weebcast, which was on the main channel, which was just all in one video. Yeah, the Weebcast was successful because you had fucking Jeff and Digibro. Nobody cared about Jeff back then. I he cared about not... Jeff. I was a bigger Jeff Boo fan than you. Well, you, before I figured you out who you few... were, Jeff, Jeff had like Jeff had like forty thousand subscribers. I know, I know. Original Weebcast. It, like, he wasn't famous. It's literally only because once in an OP was like, wow, I didn't think that they crammed this much fucking symbolism in yeah, the OP. That's how I felt. And then once you realize that they do that in literally every single OP, you don't need Jeff to hold no, your hand you, anymore you don't. and push his progressive agenda onto you. No. Um, the 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 thing about the Weebcast is that it was the excitement of the fact that we did it as early into the season as possible because we would do it as soon as the last first episode came out. We had watched all of them and it was all in one gigantic podcast, and so it was like an event. When you yeah. do it as a bunch it's of really individual cool. videos, I it's love not the, the same. Weebcast. Right, I love the idea of it. So like if. If if we brought back the Weebcast, it could be on the main channel, but Seasonal Impressions is a series of videos, definitely After Dark content. But Finish or Fail is different. And I would even say, yes, if it's about shows that nobody cares about, throw it on After Dark because it's not getting views anyways. But if it's about something like Mob Psycho, where people have been literally begging me to make a video about it, I don't think it's going to get few views just because it's on the main, just because it's not a, a highly edited video. Now there might be some people who complain because they wanted an edited video alongside it. But the bottom line is, you're not getting one unless I want to do it. Like that's always been the case. No matter how popular a show is, no matter how many people ask me to do something about it, there is never gonna be an edited video if I don't have an idea for an edited video. And in the case of Mob Psycho, I did a six-minute semi-edited video that's coming out on the eighth. Um, there is no edited video. Like, I don't have a, an idea for it. You know, that's yeah. not going to happen. So would you rather get no main channel Mob Psycho video or just the one six-minute one or that and a finish or fail where yeah. we talk about it would at length? Would you rather have more supplementary videos on the main channel? And That's really the, that's a good way of putting it, supplementary videos. Like, why separate those to another channel? Because, I mean, people can just not watch it if they don't want to. And I think most people do that. There are a lot of people who, who are weird and unsubscribe over, like, a video they don't like coming out. But, like, you know, as long as you're still getting the content you want on the main channel, what difference does it make if the After Dark stuff is also there, you know? I think that now would be the right time to make those decisions and make those changes. Mm -hmm. Especially in a time when the identity of both channels is quickly changing, quickly evolving, mm -hmm. and a lot of stuff has to change in order for either channel to survive, because at this rate, one of them is going to die. I mean, like, yeah, well, it's it's kind of a weird, it's a weird thing. It's like if you're a, not going to be doing something different with them, they're both declining. Right. Well, one, they're both really st in stasis. Neither one's necessarily declining, they're just not improving. Would you say your your main channel is not declining? It's hard to say because it really depends on how you look at it. Because it's not declining in the sense that when I put out content that is obviously going to work, it still works. And that's always been the case. Mm -hmm. Like, if you look through my channel's history... I would say history, that it's been in kind of this, like, stasis for... A year? Over a year at this yeah. point. So I would consider that, like, kind of a bad time. Yeah. You know, you gotta do something different. No, it's not it's a not good... gonna get well, better. Well, and that's the thing. The, the, the problem of the matter is that if you look back, and uh, I did that video series that was the, the actual history of Digibro, or whatever yeah. it's called, where I go back through the view counts, and I tell people, like, did look... Did you ever finish that? No, I never did part three. I mean, I made the fucking point. But, like, the, the idea of it was to show that, A, a lot of the videos that people look at now and see as, like, oh, this was a super successful video... We're not at the time they came out. It's just that they've been out for so long that they've built up a huge view count. And then there's also the factor of um, that if you go back through my history, there's always really small videos interwoven with the big ones because I've just never had enough ideas to talk about big popular shows to always have that be the content. And like when I used to do things like at the end of each season, just like covering all of the biggest shows from that season, 
those videos get a lot of views. You know, like covering Dragon Maid and uh, Scum's Wish and what was the other one? Uh, uh, the one Masamune Kun. Yeah, like Masamune all right at the end of the season, all of those got a lot of views. But that came right after videos about like cool character designs, Shimoneta, you know, a show that at that point was two years old and it got maybe 50,000 views, you know, and that's, and it, it hasn't gotten more over time, you know, it's still in that kind of ghetto. And like, so if all I'm making is stuff that's along the lines of cool character designs, Shimoneta, like somewhat relevant videos about somewhat relevant shows that aren't like hugely exciting videos, they're not going to draw people with word of mouth spread they still sit around 50k. If I make videos like I did last uh, September, uh, yeah, basically last September when I did like the Sundere video and the Darling in the Franks one and the Shinsekai Yori one, those all have 300,000 plus now, you know? But they were all talking about relevant topics and I haven't talked about a relevant topic since then. I was spent a lot of time on IM Games. I talked about Log Horizon for a, a couple months, you know, which is a four-year-old show it's like so i think if i were to make the type of video that i know will succeed yeah the main channel would still be it would still be getting as many views as ever it would probably start to increase if i did that consistently for a long time but that's never been what i want to do it's never been my goal to talk about relevant shit all the time you know it's always been my goal to talk about whatever i'm interested in at whatever level i'm interested in talking about it and so how can I make that more interesting to people? And, like, if if something like, say, Mob Psycho 2 comes along, I know that there was a time when if I wanted people to watch a Mob Psycho video, it had to be a certain level of edited. And granted, my original Mob Psycho video that has almost a million views was done concept to completion in a day. You know, it was literally, I marathoned the show, I wrote the script in about an hour, I gave it to DeVu, he edited it by the end of the night, and I posted it the next morning. Like, it took no time, you know? Maybe people will get more out of that than they will out of a longer discussion about the show, but I also think a lot of people would love to hear my more, my more general thoughts about things like, you know, the animation, which might not even get mentioned in a shorter video, or the... You know, the, the the points that I wouldn't feel the need to put into a yeah. super tight script. The fact that you know? this particular show is very thorough and we go into a lot of depth and a lot of different angles about specific shows and about specific characteristics of each show makes it interesting. And here's what I would do if we posted it on the main channel. First of all, it would always have good lighting. It would always have a good backdrop. I would edit out anything that was too boring or awkward, long pauses parts where I'm just stuttering and don't know what I'm talking about. If I make a point that's super uninteresting, cut it out, you know, cut, don't have a 30 minute intro about something else, you know, like it would be more formulated, but only so much, not enough that it makes the workload. Now, here's the, the question. It. Would I really be necessary if this was going to be a main channel video? Do you want it to continue to be a discussion or do you just want it to be hey, I'm going to tell you about all of my thoughts about this show. Because having me in it is a transformative process. Mm -hmm. Like, I do, we do bounce off of each other. There is a dynamic that we have going between us right. that is sort of alien to your main channel viewers. I don't know who my main channel viewers are. My main channel, okay, like, anybody who really cares about me is already following After Dark. It's not alien to them. If you're following the Digibro channel but not the After Dark channel, then you're probably the type Which of person... Which there are lots of people. Right, and those people tend to be the ones who only watch the videos that are about something they care about. Now, if those people click on this and they see that it's something else, you know, than what they might have hoped for, they can figure out immediately if they can immediately say, oh, this isn't a this isn't a long-form analysis video. I could even do something in the thumbnail to indicate, or just the title, being finish or fail, like it's a series, you know? People know what the series is going to be. Now, granted, I'll tell you, I've never subscribed to the Cinemassacre channel because only about one in ten videos is an AVGN review, and the rest of them are him talking to his friends. And for a long time, people felt that way about Red Letter Media. People used to hate Half in the Bag because they saw it as replacing Mr. Plinkett. And all anybody wanted was Mr. Plinkett. But once Half in the Bag got its own audience, 
then that audience was big enough that it didn't matter if they did Plink It or not because people were fine watching Half in the Bag. And some people saw that as like accepting mediocrity, but the fact of the matter is not everything's worth a Plink It video. You can't just make no. those out of nowhere. They're only if worthwhile when the subject content, is interesting. If you want content, you're going to have to sacrifice that. Right. If you want enough content that you have something to watch all the time, you can't expect all and of it to be something special. there is something to something be said special. about having multiple people giving their input about something. Right. Like, there's always something to gain out of that. And I like having discussions because there's always shit I forget. There's always shit that just... Even if... Just looking at you can remind me of things sometimes because there's things that you and I talk about while we're watching a show that I remember when I when I look at you, you know? Like, the discussions tend to go on longer. And there were some people who said that, they, that the finish or fail format felt very different because in the early days of it, there were a lot of shows that I only talked about for a second, you know, that i just turn on the camera and I go, know. this show is bullshit. I, was, I watched you know? finish or fail all the time. Right. It was like so, you laughed about a fucking show for... You watch for right. 30 seconds. And that was part of the joke. So when we start doing these longer conversations about shows, it changes the nature of it. And I think that makes it more like a main channel video. It's more meaty. It's more of a discussion. We're not just we're not just dunking on a show and moving yeah, on. I would say in terms of other people's channels who put out who have side channels, this would definitely be of the caliber of what they would consider a main channel video, but mm -hmm. It's difficult for me to, to see it for Digibro. Right. I just think that... Like, if this is Best Guy Ever's channel, he would put this on his main channel. Yes, and he, that's, that's funny that you say that, because he is the biggest stickler for quality ever. I know. And the only reason he created We Agaba is that he saw that times were changing and that nobody gave a shit about quality and it was only hurting him to do that. You know, because, like... He would spend six months on a video trying to make it perfect, and he would gain no subscribers because there's not enough hype surrounding his narrative. Because that's what YouTube is now. It's narrative storytelling. It's people who you follow because you're interested in that creator. It's why Mr. Beast starts rising up, and now he's on every fucking podcast. Mr. Beast! You know? <laughs> and, like, the stuff he does is, like, read a list of things. Or for, give Twitch streamers $100,000. Yeah, out of nowhere. So it's like... That's where we're at with YouTube culture. And, like, when I, again, when I split my channels, it was not like this. It was really like people, people didn't want to waste all their time on YouTube. People got mad at you for making longer videos because they saw it as you could have made this point in five minutes. And most people watched YouTube only on lunch breaks. People didn't watch it as a replacement for TV. You know, that came later. And now that that's completely the case, now that most of my audience is watching me as a replacement for TV, it's like, if I put out only edited content on the main channel, you have two options. Either you're going to get 40-minute edited videos that come out once every two weeks, or you're going to get six-minute edited videos that come out every day. And more people would rather that they got 20-minute videos every day. Whatever middle ground achieves that... I think is what people want the most. People want to have, because I know that's what I want. And I'm, I'm like, in dead seriousness, I hate when I don't have enough content to watch because I, I don't have cable. I only watch shit, like, if I'm eating We're food or something. We're entering the period where most people don't have cable. Right. And most like, people just have a Netflix subscription and their YouTube. How many sucks. days have you and I had where we sit around desperate for something to watch and then we end up watching like a 45 minute M. Strange vlog where he's talking straight into the camera and like I'll watch that you know and it's like my policy has always been don't release a video you wouldn't watch yourself well now I'll watch basically anything because all I watch is YouTube you know and it's more about who's making it than what it is it's more about I'm invested in this guy and the way he talks and I like to, you know, have this voice going on in the background of my life more so than what he's talking about. And granted, still, again, on the main channel, what I'm talking about is going to be more important for a long time. And even half in the bag, you know, they get views because they talk about superhero movies. They they talk about popular shit, you know. Definitely. But like, That's how they draw them in. But it's still their audience who keeps coming back, you know. It's their audience, yeah, but their I audience mean, doesn't want to hear about some shitty third string movie. General anime fans might... Just be searching for content about Mob Psycho Season 2. Yeah. See this video and then be drawn into the fact that we're talking about every show. Right. That exactly. has aired this year. I mean, I think the safest bet would be... I mean, even with the... 
Like, if we did finish or fail in the way that we do seasonal impressions uh, format-wise, where we talked about a popular show, this video, <laughs> which has gone on for over 30 minutes, as I know because I just had to hit the record button again, is definitely going on after dark, and it's going to be its own video separate from the Mob Psycho video because I thought this would be a five-minute gag at the start of the video oh, and it no, turned into a 35-minute debate. You know me, though. If you ever want to have a debate, I fucking will go no, on that's, that's, okay. forever. I wanted to do, the reason I brought this up is that... We can fight about the stupidest things in the car well, and we can still be talking about no, it at night. This is... Okay, the reason I wanted to do to open with this debate is that... I have a tendency to do th this thing where I will make a video basically either announcing a change that I plan to make or like saying, uh, you know, here's an idea, what do you guys think about it? And then the comments will be all over the place in terms of what angles people are disagreeing from and stuff. And it's just that I won't have answered that in my original video. Like, I'll have made the video not really thinking about what counter-arguments there might be. Why do people think this would be a bad idea? And then it's like, if I respond to all the comments with my counter-arguments, well, nobody else sees that. So I have to now repeat the same counter-argument to everybody. I knew you were going to feel strongly against this, which is why I figured if I debated it with you, we'd go through all the possibilities, and then the comments would have heard an entire fully-fledged debate before they make their comment. So now, commenters, now that you've heard the entire debate, let me know what you think. Should Finish or Fail go on the main channel, and in what capacity? Do you think this would work? More importantly, would you be interested in watching it there? Do you... I mean, you all watch After Dark, so I guess the question doesn't really matter to you. I don't think it matters. I don't think they care that much whether they're clicking After Dark or Digibro. Yeah. But do they believe... Do they hypothesize that this would be a successful series on the main channel? Do they think that this is something that could help save the main channel? Yeah. And keep in mind, this would be a version of the show that has the better lighting, the cool backdrop. Uh, we're, we're sitting up in chairs, yes. so we're a little bit Mark's more fiery. Tit job. Yeah, Mark's tit job is out. So <laughs> let me know what you think. Down below. Also, it would uh, I would be wearing my rainbow sunglasses if we were on the main channel. Definitely. This is my after dark look, so you know.